All right, response video, this uh, Sharpie 443 guy. Um, you know, we agree on a few things, and that's okay. Uh, but we disagree on some things, so I guess I'll just point out, play part of the end of his video where he says some things uh, I don't care for. And uh, we'll go from there. Consumption and government consumption are basically the same. So what you were saying earlier about the people getting paid to do whatever in the government holds true with people doing being paid to do whatever in the private sector. Uh, so I don't see how that's opposite. Uh, you might already do it differently, but I'm okay with rich spending it on whatever they want. I really don't care because they'll pay someone else to do it and their income gets distributed that way. Why is yeah, see, but that's just silly. Uh, there's obviously a difference. There's a different kinds of consumption. There's incredibly productive consumption and really destructive consumption. You know, consumption's the waste. You could spend a million dollars on, um, I don't know, health care as an example, or a million dollars on a Hoover Dam. I mean, which one is going to give you more long-term return? Uh, you know, you can go, and every time rich people spend money on a yacht or, you know, their, their mansion, um, there's very little social value added there. It's just a, a laborer's wasted, so now there's less labor to do some other job. Labor is more expensive to do other work because now that labor has got to be consumed doing silly, trivial nonsense for some rich person. There's no value in the work, so it is not a Hoover Dam, it's not a bridge, it's not a road, it's not a piece of internet infrastructure, it's not a research and development, it doesn't create new product. Uh, it's really stupid, wasteful work. Uh, and so there's no, you know, you have to add that up. It's, it's, I've given this example before, but I'll keep using it because it's a good example. Uh, there's a difference between the pyramids and, say, the Roman aqueducts. I mean, just in terms of which one did human race more good. They're both consumptions. They're both decisions to spend resources to invest. And, uh, you know, one is hugely productive and one is completely destructive. It just consumes the blood of your society. So I think if you add up the liability of the rich, which is increased housing prices because they compete, you know, they, they have a lot of um, unoccupied housing. They 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 um, they keep the market tight uh, because they're always looking for something to buy, something to invest in, something to turn their income into a durable good, and uh, <coughs> hopefully an income increasing durable goods, something that will increase in value over time. And uh, and then the other, what they do is they spend a great deal of money on on these personal indulgences. So how much, how much does, uh, how much of our national value is being consumed by skyboxes, waiters and waiters, services, you know, for the rich, um, you know, they're all the, all the little nonsense, the, the wasted work, manicuring, um, million dollar parties um, th this is this is not socially productive work this is socially useless it's a waste of human effort it devalues labor it doesn't increase its value it devalues it um, and it competes with productive work the investment should have been in society if the money should have gone back to workers if the rich are going to waste it then it should go back to workers and they should pay less taxes. Uh, that would be much more productive uh, because these, the workers are going to invest in social infrastructure. They're going to they're going to invest in garbage collection and in environmentally uh, good ideas, sewage systems, and you know all the other stuff that that many many people will will benefit from that infrastructure. Even even investments in healthcare and MRIs and all this stuff. All those investments can't be made if the money is wasted on yachts and other things. That labor is diverted from what it should be working on. So it's silly to argue that it doesn't matter, that all consumption is fine because somebody collects a paycheck. Collecting a paycheck does not make it productive work. And there's a huge friggin' difference. It does not make it socially productive. And uh, there's just no, I don't think, any rational excuse um, to have an economy that embraces anything um, that is, you know, over some certain line, 
of, of being just waste. Now, yeah, you can have your personal indulgences, but there should be a limit to them. And there should be how much, there should be a limit to how much money, how much work, how much investment an individual can waste. And especially when it comes to inheritance, which it didn't really touch on too much, just kind of vaguely said there should be limit, but blah, 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 but pretty ambiguous. And of course, the rich can give their kids privileges, all kinds of privileges. Uh, you know, while they're raising them, they don't need to give them, uh, you know, get out of jail free cards and a free ride. And your argument that you only want this, that, and the other thing, you know, I only want this much money, and so therefore the system isn't broken, well, that's just stupid. We see the system is broken. We see the consolidation of wealth, and we see what that consolidation means. It's a consolidation of ownership of the income engines. Uh, that exist in an economy, the income generating property, the income generating businesses and production. And uh, that ownership is exclusively at one end of the scale and, and uh, the, the rest of society is left out of that free money. And it probably shouldn't even exist as free money and if it, if it was distributed it wouldn't. It wouldn't need to because the investment could be made socially. Um, so anyway, yeah, I think we don't have to beat a dead horse, but uh, yeah, the economy isn't that complicated. Um, if you're paying people not to work, you're in big trouble. And we're paying a lot of people not to do any productive work. The people making the highest incomes in, the, in this country are not doing productive work. They're not pouring cement or something. They're not engineering. They're not architecting. No, they're they're playing games with money, they're manipulating, they're, they're thieves, they're, they've come up with clever little gimmicks to steal money from other people, and uh, they're middlemen, they're useless parasites, and uh, so when you consider all the income that's being generated from the ownership of production, which is a tax on labor, um, their profit, and uh, all the wasted expenditures, and then this extra bonus of, of these high incomes for very low social productive yield. Uh, I mean, if we were paying brain surgeons huge amounts of money, that would make a lot more sense, or even architects. Um, but no, we're paying assholes huge sums of money to engineer bullshit schemes to make money on paper. You know, paper money, bullshit. No productive work, just a gimmick. Uh, so, yeah, enough said you know, trading bonds and gold and all this other crap. It doesn't do us, it doesn't do civilians, human beings any good at all. So, enough video.